In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to limit the exit length of your DV blog module. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. We can give this page whatever name we want and then click on use DV builder. Next, we're going to click on use DV builder. So for this design, we're going to use a pre-made layout. So I'm going to click on choose pre-made layout and we're going to search for a software layout. So we're going to go with this one here. So I'm going to click on it and then click on use this layout. All right, so the next step now is to add a new section. So I'm gonna scroll down here until I get to um, this area here, click on this plus button, and we are going to add a regular section. And in here, we're going to add a single column, and then we're gonna add a text module, which is going to be for our section heading. So I'm gonna select that and then save for now. Next, we're going to add our blog module. So I'm going to come over here and uh, add a new row by clicking over here and setting this to one single column. And then we're going to add our blog. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Next, we're going to come over here to the design, click on layout, and we're going to change this from full width to grid. All right. So the next part now is to add a color to our section. So I'm going to scroll down here and click on this gear icon. Next, I'm going to come over here to background, click on this plus button and paste my color in here. So now you can see See, my background color matches the rest of the page and then save. Now we're going to go into the row which has our text over here. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and go into the design tab. First of all, come over here to our maximum width and set this to 800 pixels and save. Now let's style our text. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So for the title here, we're just going to call this blog. We're also going to set this to heading two. So I'm going to highlight it, click here on paragraph and click on heading two. Now let's head over here to our design tab, click on heading text. Now we need to customize the heading two. So the font we're going to use here is called Akivo. I'm going to select it, set this to semi bold. And over here on the color, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now let's set the sizes. Now this is very important because we want our titles to look great on all devices. So let's start here with our desktop. So here for the desktop, we're going to set this to 50. And then over here for the tablet and the phone, we're going to set this to 20. And then finally for the phone, again, this is going to be 20. All right, great. So the next step now is to add our line height. So I'm just going to set this to 1.3. Next, I'm going to come over here to spacing. Now, this is where we need to add a bit of space on the bottom of our title. So let's set a bottom margin of eight pixels. And then finally, our text needs to be aligned. So I'm going to come over here to text, scroll down and go to my text alignment and center it. And then we're going to save. Now let's go into our blog module. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into the settings. So the first thing we need to do here is to set our post count to three. Currently it's set to 10 by default. Now over here, make sure use post uh, accepts is set to yes. And we're also going to uh, set our length here to 300. But of course you can set it to whatever you want. Next, we're going to come over here to elements. So first of all, we're going to activate our read more button and then disable our show author. We're going to also disable our show date and categories. But all the way down here, we need to make sure show except is set to yes and show pagination is set to no. Now let's style our blogs. So I'm going to come over here and start with the heading. So I'm going to click here on this paintbrush icon and this is going to take us straight to our font. So our font here is going to be Akivo. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Over here on the weight, we're going to set this to bold. And over here on the color, we're going to set our specific color. I'm going to paste it like that. Now for our size, we're going to set this to 30 pixels. And for our line height, we're going to set this to 1.4. Now, as I mentioned before, we want this to look great on all devices. So let's go ahead and set our sizes. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. And for our tablet and phone, we are going to set this to 16 pixels. Let's now move over here to the text. So I'm going to click again on this little uh, icon. I'm going to search for it and select it. Over here on the color, I'm going to paste black as my main color here. And for the size, we're going to set this to 15 pixels. And our line height is going to be 1.5. Now let's move over to our read more text. And again, I'm going to click here on this little paintbrush icon. And the first thing we need to do here is to set our font. I'm going to search for it and select it. This time, we're going to make sure that this is set to all caps. We're also going to set our font weights to bold and then our line height to about 2.6. Now let's head over to spacing and set our margin. So I'm going to click here on spacing. So for our margin top, we're going to set this to 0VW. And then now it's time to stylize our borders. So I'm going to come over here. And for this, we're going to set our border here to one pixel, but our color is going to be black. And also make sure for the rounded corners, everything is set to zero. All right. So let's go ahead and save and take a look at our final design. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.